Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. Questions, answers, we're getting into it now, okay? Who do I file the complaint on the bureaus and or, it says or, the collection agency. I said and, because you don't need or. You say and, bureaus and collectors, and credit card companies, and banks, and everybody. That's right, Jerome getting tight. I got closer. Jerome, Jerome get tight. Yes, my brother get tight, okay. Yes, so you can file complaints with the CFPB, Better Business Bureau as well. Okay, a lot of people forget about that. We haven't talked about that in a little while. Better Business Bureau, okay? Better Business. So CFPB is great. When you're doing that complaint, or with the Better Business Bureau, when you're doing that complaint, a lot of people think, hey, you know, I'll file with the bureaus, it's all good. We actually had a customer who got information from the CFPB and they said, hey, you know what? You might also want to file your complaint against the collectors as well. They may not be able to substantiate anything, any documentation. So you can do both at the same time, all right? Assuming, too, that the creditor is on there, too, you could potentially do that as well. Reporting, FCRA, F, the Fair Credit Reporting Act and Fair Debt Collection Practices Act are both the laws you can complain, okay? And Better Business Bureau as well. So, um, had a question about being a college student here. I, I remember going through some stuff too when I was in college. I had two knee surgeries, a hip surgery. It was rough, okay? So, I understand. Here we go. So, what can I do in my situation? I'm a college student, okay? I am a college student. Got too crazy with a few credit cards and they've been closed and sent to collections, okay? Prior to this score, her score was 710. It's now 490, okay? Not a problem. You probably were not taught how to manage your credit. You had no idea. They're giving you all this credit. When you're in college, you, they know damn well, pardon my French, they know darn well that these individuals don't know how to manage their credit, okay? And they've been, I, I, I used to watch these uh, documentaries on credit card stuff and all that stuff. They realize that they get good business out of individuals who aren't making their payments on time because interests, they can jack up your rates. So they're like, oh great, we start them early, okay? I want to raise my credit score, but I want to do so with paying the least amount possible here to help, okay? So you can dispute them outright with the bureaus, the collectors, see if they can substantiate anything, right? Because they're trying to get as much as they can. They're trying to do it the other way. They're trying to say, hey, we'll settle this out for as much as we can get, but they'll settle things. You can dispute. You can get these negative nasty items off, okay? Push on them. So you can see potentially some of this stuff may not be able to be verified. This stuff could be deleted. You could do this for yourself. 609creditpair.com. We could do the work for you at the Awesome Life Group, okay? The other thing is also I was evicted from my student apartment, but it doesn't show on my credit karma, okay? I never received any documentation from any courts or old apartments. Should I assume I'm in the clear? Well, you know what they say about assumptions, right? Shouldn't assume. However, from what you're seeing, because you've done some research, not like you just assumed, you're looking at Credit Karma and you're saying, hey, I don't really see anything, but Credit Karma is only two reports and it isn't necessarily the most accurate. So pull all three reports, something like a privacy, privacy card, myfico.com, those types of things. See if it's on there. If it's not on there and you haven't gotten nothing, you might be okay, which is fantastic because then you can take care of this credit stuff, dispute these negative items, get this stuff to rock and roll and get yourself back in order. Now, if you're in college and you have this opportunity to do it now when you're young, I would had to do it after when I was out of college, you have a great opportunity to do so. If you're watching this now and you're you know, in college now, you can handle your credit repair now because your credit repair starts what? And when? It starts now. That's right, put in the comments below, credit repair starts now. Hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications for the next time I go live. Also the email, you'll get an email for the live if you jump on thesubscribeshop.com, okay? So you can get an email for the live. Those have been excellent. People are showing up and I can do so many more questions and answers and write their feedback and things that we may not talk about on these recorded videos. Right on the lives is where you get them, right? You get them on the live. So anyway, hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications, give a thumbs up, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.